Good evening, you're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. First, the headlines. His Excellency, the Minister Responsible for Foreign Affairs, meets in New York His Excellency, the Yemeni President, to discuss the latest developments in Yemen. Heart Diseases Conference discusses in Salala ways to prevent cardiac diseases. The health insurance instalment in the Sultanate increases by 16% in 2017. And the UN Human Rights Council votes to prolong an inquiry into human rights in Yemen, overriding objections from Yemen and Saudi Arabia. Those were the headlines, and now for the news in detail. His Excellency Yusuf bin Alawi, the Minister Responsible for Foreign Affairs, held a number of bilateral meetings in New York on the sidelines of the 73rd session of the United Nations Assembly. His Excellency met with His Excellency Abdullah Mansour, President of the Republic of Yemen, to discuss the latest updates on the Yemeni situation, confirming to him Oman's support and complete attention to provide all logistic and humanitarian support to the people of Yemen. His Excellency Alawi also met the head of the Red Cross, in which they discussed humanitarian aspects of the organization. During the meeting, the head of the Red Cross thanked the Sultanate for their continuous support for the organization's humanitarian activities, especially relating to the people of Yemen. Moreover, His Excellency Yusuf bin Alawi, the Minister Responsible for Foreign Affairs, met with His Excellency Nikos Kotsias, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Greece. The two sides discussed matters of bilateral cooperation between the two countries in various fields. His Excellency also met with His Excellency Simon Coveney, Deputy Prime Minister of Ireland and Minister of Foreign Affairs, to discuss means to enhance cooperation between the two countries. His Excellency also met with His Excellency Sven Mixer, the Minister of Foreign Affairs for the Republic of Estonia. Moreover, His Excellency Yusuf bin Alawi, the Minister Responsible for Foreign Affairs, met with the Lebanese Foreign and Immigration Affairs and the Secretary General of the Arab League and the head of the Syrian opposition. In order to raise awareness on heart diseases, Heart Diseases Conference started in the Wilaya of Salala in the Governorate of Dhofar. The conference, which witnessed a participation of a number of specialists from various public health institutions in the Sultanate, included 27 scientific work papers on heart diseases. The activity came to highlight the need to provide treatment and health information on the risks of heart diseases and encourage good nutrition habits. It also stressed the importance of walking as a daily sport, which may reduce the possibility of heart disease. The event was accompanied with a medical awareness exhibition that included various divisions, such as measuring blood pressure, sugar, weight and body index. Security Market Authority stated that health insurance instalment in the Sultanate increased 16% in 2017 compared to the previous years. The authority said the financial data indicated that the health insurance instalment increased by 18% in the first half of the current year compared to 2017 to reach 97 million and 700,000 Omani rials compared to 82 million and 800,000 rials in the first half of 2017. The importance of pharmacists' role in improvement of healthcare and patient safety topped the ceremony which was held in the Governorate of Tahra on the occasion of World Pharmaceutical Day, which came this year under the theme Pharmacist is the Medicine Expert. The celebration came in a bid to raise public awareness of the role played by pharmacists and encourage the activities that enhance and defend the role of pharmacists in improving healthcare. This year's theme targeted the different categories of pharmacists, health workers and organisations, as well as health decision makers and all sectors of society. This day also aimed at enhancing the quality of healthcare services rendered, by, rendered to patients by ensuring safe and effective use of pharmaceutical products, 
and highlighting the complementary role played by the pharmacist as an active member of the medical team. Still to come in our news bulletin. A new bridge connecting Hong Kong to the Pearl River Delta started its test operations. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. The UN Human Rights Council voted by 21 votes to 8 today in favour of prolonging an inquiry into human rights in Yemen, overriding objections from Yemen and Saudi Arabia. Supporters of the resolution, including Canada and the European Union, had argued that an expert group mandated by the Council last year still had work to do, but opponents said it would exacerbate the crisis and increase regional instability. In a report last month, the experts said airstrikes by the Saudi-led coalition in the war in Yemen had caused heavy civilian casualties and some may amount to war crimes. Saudi Arabia rejected their findings. Saudi Arabia is trying to restore the internationally recognized government of Yemeni President Abdurrabu Mansour Hadi, ousted from the capital Sana'a by the Houthis in 2015. The UN panel said in its report that more than 10,000 people have been killed in the war and 8.4 million are on the brink of famine. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and German Chancellor Angela Merkel spoke to journalists at a news conference following talks at the Chancellery in Berlin today. A Turkish journalist living in Germany was removed by security. The German newswire DPA is reporting that the journalist was wearing a t-shirt calling for the release of jailed journalists in Turkey. Meanwhile, the Erdogan supporters welcomed his visit to Germany. A major 7.5 quake struck off the Indonesian island of Sulawesi today, briefly prompting a tsunami alert after a milder tremor brought down houses and initial reports from the area said many buildings had collapsed. The tsunami warning was lifted within the hour, but officials asked people to remain on alert amid a series of moderate aftershocks. The National Disaster Mitigation Agency said they were having difficulties reaching some authorities in the fishing town of Dongala and Palu City, the capital of central Sulawesi province, closest to the epicenter of the quake, 80 kilometers away at a shallow 10 kilometers underground. Palu Airport was closed. The second quake hit as the sun was setting and the extent of the damage would likely not be known until tomorrow. A series of earthquakes in July and August killed nearly 500 people on the holiday island of Lombok, hundreds of kilometers southwest of Sulawesi. Indonesia sits on the Pacific Ring Fire and is regularly hit by earthquakes. Test operations have begun on the biggest bridge in southern China. The three-day drills got underway with vehicles traveling across the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. The emergency services also took part in mock exercises. The bridge runs nearly 30 kilometers and will connect China's special regions of Hong Kong and Macau with the mainland city of Zhuhai. It will put the three cities within an hour's commute of each other and will mark the integration of the Pearl River Delta, also known as the Greater Bay Area. Construction started in 2011 and the bridge was originally scheduled to open in 2016, but the project faced problems including budget overruns and technical and construction difficulties. Work on the main part of the bridge cost 2.2 billion US dollars. And now for the general weather forecast around the Sultanate. 
Clear skies will prevail over the Sultanate with chances of cloud accumulation and scattered rainfall over the Hajar Mountains. Low clouds and fog late at night and early morning are expected over the coasts of the Arabian Sea and Sea of Oman. Winds will be southwesterly to southerly light to moderate. Seas will be slight with a maximum wave height of 1.25 meters. This is the Sultanate of Oman television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Excellency, the Minister Responsible for Foreign Affairs, meets in New York. His Excellency, the Yemeni President, to discuss the latest developments in Yemen. Heart Diseases Conference discusses in Salala ways to prevent cardiac diseases. The health insurance instalment in the Sultanate increases by 16% in 2017. And the UN Human Rights Council votes to prolong an inquiry into human rights in Yemen, overriding objections from Yemen and Saudi Arabia. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here at the newsroom and the studios. It's good night.